That breaking news, the Oak Fire, more than 250 acres scorched in the Awani area. It's 10% contained, no word yet on the cause. Our Dennis Valera is live at Incident Command there. And Dennis, there is a road closure in that area. Yeah, Megan, that's right. Uh, road 620 or Bissett Station Road, that part of that road is closed right now. Now, there are more than two dozen crews on site battling a fire that is currently burning right over my shoulder. Now, they are making sure that they get as much progress in as they can before this fire can spread any further. Right now, the fire, it's pushing down Canyon. Crews are working to get their dozers around the entire fire by tonight. Now, there was a threat to homes and other structures in the area at first, but that threat has since been reduced. Now, just like the Ferguson fire, I'm told terrain is a big challenge with this one. Challenge is steep terrain. The fire's burning in some tree mortality area, and then that's what's burning up behind you. The fire's jumped over the uh, back of that ridge, and, and that's the area they're attacking now. So it is steep, very brushy, and, and, and burning in the tree mortality area. Now, I don't know if my mic is picking this up, but there is a lot of wind right now in the mountains. That always presents a little concern with fires. Now, there is an evacuation center set up at the Oakhurst Community Center by the Red Cross. There are no mandatory evacuation orders, but there are evacuation advisories in place. However, you do not need an evacuation order to leave your home if you feel threatened. Live here in Madera County, Dennis Valera, KC24, Local News That Matters.